Job is often compared to Abraham in the sources, uh, both in s because they have the similar beliefs, belief in one God, uh, they both feared God, and in their level of righteousness, um, that you should be like those who were called God-fearing, Abraham, Job, and Joseph. So here's another group of three that jo uh, that Job is involved in. We have Bilam, Job, Jethro. We have Noah, uh, Daniel, Job. Now Abraham, Job, and Joseph. Uh, so. This comes up many times in the sources, and here's another one. Uh, on the arms to the right were the images of the seven patriarchs of the world, Adam, Noah, Shem, Job, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <laughs> so these guys keep showing up in sources together. And here's one. Uh, that's uh, e extremely interesting because it, it covers something negative about Abraham, which you never find. So here's our source. When one makes a sudas mitzvah, such as a bris, an engagement, or a bar mitzvah, and you'll remember uh, Job uh, at the be in the earliest chapters, uh, they were celebrating a birthday. So they got together for a feast with wine to celebrate birthdays because this is something they always did. It was a tradition to celebrate the day uh, so you were born, someone was born. So when this type of thing goes on, it is important to see that the poor and needy are among the invitees and that they are well taken care of. For if a person makes a simcha for his son or daughter, but fails to invite the poor, the wicked Lilith and the Samek Mem, which they're talking about, uh, they don't even want to say the name. This is the angel Samael. Um, bring indictments against him in the heavenly court until he is beset by afflictions, which is what happened to Job for one year he suffered extreme afflictions. The Midrash tells us, for example, that this is what happened to Abraham because he did not invite any poor people to the feast that he made upon Yitzhak's weaning. Commenting on the verse, and after these matters, in Genesis 22.1, the Midrash explains that it was in response to the Satan's indictment that the Holy One, blessed be he, uh, subsequently commanded Abraham, take now your son, your only one, Yitzhak, and offer him there for a burnt offering. So the Akeda is Yitzhak. And here's Job. Similarly, because Job made a feast for his children to which no poor people were invited, Hasatan, the Satan, the adversary, like a prosecuting angel, uh, because no poor people were invited, Hasatan, the Satan, was given permission to kill all his sons and daughters and to, and to deprive him of his wealth and, wa and livestock as well. Yet even this was not sufficient to satisfy the Satan until he was allowed to afflict Job's person. Therefore, whoever holds a feast should be sure to invite the poor so that the accuser, the Satan, Hasatan, will have nothing to say against him. Interesting. So here's the best part. Moreover, he will actually be transformed into an advocate. So you'll have Hasatan, the accuser, the prosecuting force, on your side. This is how to get Satan <laughs> on your side. I've never even come across this before. I just thought this was extremely interesting. One way to get Satan to work for you. <laughs>